Hi, this is Jessica with ABC Paints, and today we're going to be playing around with some of the brown tones from American Paint Company, and we're going to be using um, the black glaze and the brown glaze also from American Paint Company, just to show you the difference um, that the glaze can make on top of the paint. So come along and see what I create. Okay, so we, um, we're working here with these little squares, and um, the idea is that we're going to be putting the color on these squares. So this row is going to be the espresso, and this row is going to be the double-double, and then this row is going to be Kona. And so the first step is going to be painting each square with each color. Okay, so I just wanna to talk to you a little bit about each of these um, colors here. So the first one is espresso. I love this color. It's a very dark, deep brown. It is, it's my favorite um, brown color actually. So then Double Double is um, more of like your light, a lighter tan caramel color. Um, and then Kona is the brown tones, but it has more of like a purple tone coming through on this one. So I also want to talk to you about my double double here. So this middle color. So when I opened up this can, the paint is actually, it's like very, um, it's not completely dry, but it is, um, it's not how you would buy it in a store. It's been sitting on the shelf um, here for a while. And so what I did is I added some water to it to reactivate it. And that's one of the cool things about American Paint Company is that if you go home and you open up one of your cans and it's been a while and it's a little bit hard on the bottom, you can actually reactivate it and um, just by adding a little bit of water. So what I did is I put it over here on my, on my plate and I just mixed a little bit of water to it. And as you can see, it's still a little bit, it's more like sticky than runny but you can still paint a lot of pieces with this. So I always tell customers that if your paint's gotten a little bit hard, just mix it with some boiling hot water and it'll reactivate the paint. Because um, American Paint Company products are clay paint, we want to seal the clay paint with our top coat sealer after we painted so that the glaze doesn't just suck in and make blotches. So we recommend using the top coat sealer over top of your painted piece before using the glaze. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that next. Okay, so now that we have the top coat on each color, we're going to put some brown glaze over the top row and black glaze on this row. Now, the, this is the brown glaze over top of espresso, okay? Now with the glaze, the longer it sits, the darker it gets. And with the glaze also, the steps are on, off, Put it on and you wipe it off. And the reason why we like to have the top coat in between is so that the glaze doesn't leave like a blotchy look and you're able to work with it better. So this one is the brown glaze on top of Kona. You can see the different tones of brown. Can you see that? It's kind of cool. This is the brown glaze on top of double double and the brown glaze on top of espresso. 
So you're just going to work work with the damp cloth and we're just going to wipe it wipe it off. And you can see how it just deepened the espresso. Ground glaze and espresso. And then we're going to do wipe it off with on top of double double here. When you're using the glaze, it's really cool how it can get into like all the cracks and just give it that aged feel. Plus it deepens the paint as well. And then on top of Kona. Man, I'm really liking the brown glaze on Kona. Then we're going to do black glaze on this row. Now the thing with glaze too is that you work in layers. So while I'm putting the black glaze on this row, this row is drying and then we can go back and put another layer on there if we would like. So this is black on top of espresso. And so if you were to do a piece of furniture with the top of the furniture, you wanted it to have like a stain look and then on the bottom was color. This is a good way to just um, to do that by putting down a brown um, paint and then covering it with a glaze. And this is black glaze on top of Kona. we'll let that sit for a bit and what I would like to do is another brown glaze on top of espresso and Kona so. I feel like this one has enough glaze you put it on and now we're taking it off. This is black glaze on espresso. And the black on top of double double just gives it a different look compared to the brown. <laughs> and then this is the black on the Kona which again, it's just deepening the color, which is its pretty awesome that you can start with the same color, but change the look completely just by what finish you put on top. So I'm really loving the black and the Kona layer here. So this is brown glaze and espresso. Nice chocolate brown. That one is good. And brown glaze and Kona. So if you just look at these two, um, it really deepens the color and the difference between the brown and the black on Double Double. I'm really loving, I'm a fan of the black glaze. And you can also mix the brown and the black glaze together to get another option. <laughs> but just for these <clears throat> squares, it's pretty, it's pretty fun to see the different colors. Now I have this board and this is um, Peacock and it's been top coated. And I want to put the black glaze on it just to show you how the glaze can look on a color. So we'll just wipe on some black glaze. And it's fun if you if you see a picture online 
on Pinterest or whatever, and you have an idea in your head, it's fun to play around with it before you actually start your big project. So these sample boards are a great way to get the feel for different combinations. And then you just put it on and wipe it off. You can see how it just goes into the creases and how it darkened the color just a little. And then if you if you think, oh, I like that, but I want to I want it a little bit deeper, then you just keep layering your glaze, and you keep repeating this process of on and off. And what's allowing it to move around and slip and slide so nicely is that there is a barrier of top coat on top of Peacock here. So you just let it sit in for a bit. And then you just take your cloth and pull it back. Anyways, it's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome how that looks and how you can put any glaze on top of any color to create a different look and finish. So, hope you found that helpful. Thanks a lot for joining today. I hope you found that helpful and just how fun it is to play with the APC glaze on top of any color and create quite an awesome finish. So, I hope you make time today to create.